With the rise in poverty levels in different parts of the world, Compassion International has set up three programs that are designed to raise children from poverty into becoming economically self-supporting individuals. The Child Survival Program is aimed at saving the lives of infants, toddlers and mothers in poverty through local churches. I remember in Uganda as I got to the Child Survival Program, it seemed like I needed a, a visual. So I asked, does anybody have a baby that I can hold? And a young couple came down to the front with their little baby and they handed me this little child. And I held this little baby in my arms while I talked about the Child Survival Program. And when I was finished with that topic, I looked down and the baby was asleep. So I just held the baby anyway and I went on with the rest of the talk. And when I was done, the mother and father came out to, to take their child back. And they said, we were both sponsored children ourselves, by the way. We didn't grow up in the same project, but, uh, but we met each other and we are married and this is our baby. This is a compassion grandchild. Yeah. <laughs> and just being silly, I said, does this little child need a sponsor? And that young mother looked at me and tears welled up in her eyes and she said, no, we know how to take care of our baby. And the young man, the young man said, poverty in our family stopped with us. The Child Sponsorship Program targets children from 3 to 22 years and is aimed at developing the children's God-given potential and releasing them from poverty. After successfully graduating from this program, exceptional students are enrolled into the Leadership Development Program where they are educated, trained and discipled into servant leaders. It is said that the greatness of a leader is not in how many people serve him, but in how faithfully he serves others. The Leadership Development Program has been modeled after this concept. Our mission, which is our tagline, is that we are educating, training and discipling servant leaders. And our aim is to identify youth who are beneficiaries of Compassion Assisted Program. Uh, since the day that they were taken into the Compassion Program and we nurture them up to become servant leaders through leadership training and also uh, taking them through the university. The history of the program dates back to March 2001 where Compassion International started the program in Kenya. Since this was a new concept to both the church partners and the caregivers, recruiting the initial students proved to be a challenge. Students were not prepared and there were doubts as whether Compassion could afford to pay for university education. Letters were sent to various projects to seek applications and with only seven applications received, the program was marketed more to the students and caregivers. The outcome was that 41 students were interviewed and 20 were enrolled into the program. The students are taken through an intense leadership program with each student working directly with an LDP specialist to be mentored in their Christian life and instilled with passion to serve and transform their communities. Since its inception 10 years ago, the program has enrolled 396 youth, of whom 153 have graduated. The program has grown in many ways, from a well-outlined curriculum to well-spelt-out outcomes and to well-scheduled annual student assessments, all of them done online. It has also had significant impact on the students, one of them being that the graduates have attained professional skills and have become economically self-supporting and are even able to sponsor their fellow students. It's my pleasure to uh, officially invite all of us uh, to this very important occasion as we celebrate 
the 10th year of leadership development program in Kenya and the sixth graduation ceremony today. Praise the Lord. As we mark this graduation ceremony and this important milestone of the leadership development program, we celebrate with all these students. 43 of them are graduating today and they will join another 153 who have already gone before them, making the number to 196. Praise the Lord. The idea is not just to keep on counting the numbers, but to have each of those lives count in our generation, in their generation, and to impact the future generations for the praise and honor of God. Under the authority according to me by Compassion International, I declare this ceremony a Congregation of Compassion International, Kenya. Our Heavenly Father and the Father of our Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless you this morning for granting us an opportunity to be here. I thank you for every graduate today. I thank you for taking them through the process and that today we are seeing them even released into the communities, into the nations, and to other places that you will plant them and that, God, you will be glorified in those endeavors. We thank you for the guardians that have taken care of each one of them. We thank you for your provision, even in situations sometimes that even know how to deal with them. We bless you for every sponsor who is represented today. We thank you for every invited guest. We thank you for every visitor. We thank you because, Lord, your presence is in this place and all of us will enjoy. We love you and we appreciate you. And this we pray and receive. Amen. Amen.
the leadership development program has continued to invest in young women and men and we know that one day we will get very very influential people in the government currently we have a good number working in the government and wherever the lord has placed these young leaders there has been impact and we can attest to that we have had very few casualties and it has not been the work of man but it has been purely by his grace before you the graduating class of 2011 having successfully gone through the leadership training for the award of the certificate in servant leadership You have spent your entire childhood, your entire high school, now your entire university, preparing yourself for your place in the world. What you are going to be has been in your mind for a long, long time. We could go right down the row and say, what are you going to be? I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be a teacher, I'm going to be a finance director. You know what you are going to be, and you have prepared yourself with excellence to achieve that. What I want to challenge you now is there's a more important question in life than what you do, and that is who you are. Definition of failure for a Christian is to succeed at something that doesn't matter. And it is a very sad thing to find that corporate ladder or whatever your challenge is in front of you and to climb up rung by rung by rung by rung, success upon success, only to get to middle age like me and be at the top. And suddenly you realize it's a meaningless ladder that I have climbed. It's leaning up against a wall that doesn't matter. It's giving me rewards that don't matter for eternity. I have been building the wrong kingdom. And my challenge to you today is build the right kingdom, the effort that you put in. Climb up and do it to the glory of God. If ever there was a time in the history of Kenya for us Christians to live out who we are in addition to what we do, this is that moment in history. You are the most pivotal generation in all of Kenyan history. You are the generation that I think is going to leave poverty behind and build a strong, powerful nation. It's in your hearts to do, I know that. Eliud Amukambwa. Benedict Susu. Kennedy Ochien. Solomon Saitoti. Kevin Kiprono. Constance Mkacharo. Charles Ngutia, Dorothy Igogi. They have branched into careers such as finance and banking, teaching, management and government, while others have formed their own organizations. The graduates of the program have all the skills that they need out there to become outstanding teachers, doctors, lawyers, accountants and people who can make a difference in this nation. The training has uh, con transformed my mind. In Romans uh, 12, we are told that conform no longer to the patterns of this world. The training has enabled me to understand this verse by transforming my mind from this thinking that uh, poverty is something that we cannot eradicate to something that we can eradicate through our own efforts. Leadership Development Program has not only had successful completions, but has raised leaders who represent Kenya in various local and international forums. For example, Oscar Litoro, who is an advocate in the Kenyan private sector, Livingstone Onduso, who is a senior software tester engineer in Bellam Incorporated, Shanghai, China, and Cecilia Anyango, who is currently at the University of Memphis, Tennessee, pursuing a doctorate in earth sciences. The number of lives that have been changed by this program is numerous and it does not end there as Compassion endeavors to transform more lives. 
Richard Njoroge's normal life was interrupted when he got an eye infection that left him partially blind when he was one year old. 25 years ago, I was born as a normal child with two eyes with good sight. However, two years down the line, I lost my father. And um, having come from a Borigama's family, my mother was chased away since she was the second wife. One month later, my mother gave birth to my younger brother. And before he was one month old, he was attacked by cataract condition. And when he was taken to Kenyatta Hospital, he lost his both eyes. They were removed. Two months later, my left eye developed the same condition. I was taken to Kenyatta Hospital once again. And there, the doctors could not have managed that condition. They opted to remove one of my eyes, hoping that the other eye will not be affected. That was not the case. Three months later, my right eye also developed the same condition. I was taken to Kikuyu Eye Unit, where Dr. Wood could not believe what the other doctors had done. He operated me and saved my 25% of my sight. I stayed one year looking for school, but God opened ways, and my mother noted over Dika Primary School for the Blind, where I was introduced to Braille. When I was in class two, Compassion, through our local church, accepted to take me and sponsor me. They paid all my school balances, and from there, they started paying for my school fees, buying uniform for me, and personal effect. Learning could not have taken place for me as, an, as a, other, other students. So Compassion, through LDP, bought me a laptop and a software which assists me in reading. Today, I'm happy to tell you that I'm a founder of a, an organization called School Spear Educators Training, in short, SPET, which targets primary and secondary students with the aim of transforming their lives and giving them power to know and to realize who they are. By the authority given to me by Compassion International, I declare this congregation officially dissolved. Thank you. The future of leadership development Kenya program is that we want to reach as many students as we can. As we, can. we would uh, wish to reach out to about a thousand students in the near future. So the more we produce more servant leaders, the better for, for us as a nation. Uh, it's very important to make really a difference in people's lives, in, in the life of, uh, of students here. To the graduation class, to go, to go forward, with, uh, make challenges and to go uh, to do it. The journey has been, uh, I might say, a little bit challenging, but we have received quality training that has enabled us to overcome the challenges. I'm already in my project where I grew up as a small child. I'm already mentoring the young kids and telling them that there's a future, there's a bright future ahead so that they should work harder and uh, keep spirituality on their side and that way they love a bright future. If it were not for compassion, I don't know where I would have been right now. But I thank God for them, I thank God for the sponsors and for everything. The specialists that we have been with them, they've been very supportive, educative. Sometimes you feel so depressed, you don't know where to go to, who to talk to, but they've been so good to us and we thank God for them and for their lives and for their families. With such continued efforts from the sponsors and various stakeholders, poverty will be eradicated and become a thing of the past in every child's life.